Hey guys, as the title of the video says, I'll be answering a few of your questions. And I know it's been like 7 or 8 days now since the last video, uh, but let's just say that a few things have transpired and now that the dust has settled down, uh, I can actually do them. So yeah, let's just get into it. Uh, so let's start with a nice and easy question from Odyssey. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna butcher a lot of names. Who asked, where are you from? So um, yeah, I'm from the Philippines. I'm Filipino and I moved here uh, to the UK in 2008. So that was 12 years ago. And um, yeah, you could probably tell from my accent. So the Toss Play TV asked, what are your thoughts on a laptop to desktop DIY video? I think it will come out very good with your equipment and skills. Um, well, for one, thank you. And uh, well, I like it. I like the idea of it because you're basically taking this probably broken and useless laptop into something that you could actually use, saving it from landfill, and you're making the most of what you've got. So uh, yeah, so that's why I like the idea of it. It's a shame though that I ended up selling my old laptop, uh, but then there's actually quite a lot of them in Facebook Marketplace, so if I do end up finding one that's cheap, and probably broken, like a you know, it's got its screen busted or its keyboard mangled or something. Uh, yeah, I'll pick one up and do uh, a conversion video. If not for learning a thing or two, it'll be for just getting a kick out of. So yeah, I like the idea of it. Right, so we have Mepte here, um, again butchering names again, uh, who said, I noticed you've developed a very nice format and flow in your videos. Uh, YouTubers with thousands of subscribers still haven't nailed down how they'd like their videos to be constructed. Uh, what inspired your style of filming slash editing slash commentary? Um, keep it up. So uh, yeah, thank you so much though for one, uh, because that's um, one hell of a compliment. And uh, my style. Well, that's a very difficult thing to deconstruct, because I actually um, had to look basically all the way back to when I was like doing things on the internet. And so what I mean is uh, the budding engineer didn't actually start out as a YouTube channel. Uh, it was actually a blog uh, from WordPress that I put up in uh, like very late of 2016. And um, I just wrote random things mostly about photography because I used to be really into it. Uh, but what I did was I treated those blog posts as if they were essays, uh, because I've happened to have um, really liked writing in that kind of format of just keeping things nice and concise without waffling too much. Uh, so the commentary and the format, yeah, it came from um, just writing basically uh, in that blog. And for the style of filming slash editing, um, I don't know, it's just a combination of trial and error and uh, just borrowing from other YouTubers, you know, like the things that I like and just avoiding things that I don't like. I guess, you know, for example, um, long YouTube intros. I mean, you know, everyone has their own tastes and stuff, but I personally don't like uh, those like really obnoxiously loud intros that are 10 seconds long and yeah, just, I mean, it, you do whatever you want really in the end. I mean, I bet I sound pretentious, but there's no way in hell I'd want them in my own videos. It doesn't speak of me. And I guess that's what it is um, in the end really, like with the style of like this channel with a the theme, the wheatgrass logo and all of that stuff. Like it, it speaks to me. That's what it is because in the end it is my channel and uh, well, I just happened to uh, like this format and you know this style and how I do my rather dry commentary. So yeah, um, in a sense, it wasn't really inspired. It just it it came along like in little bits, one at a time. So yeah, um, I hope that answered your question because I tried answering this so many times. Uh, so hopefully that was alright. Okay, so we have our boy Jono, uh, who asked, What inspired you to start making YouTube videos? Do you think I slash everyone can start with YouTube, uh, in terms of hardware and software? And how old are you? 
you were driving a car and I always thought you'd be around the same age as I am, almost 16, so I was really surprised. Uh, P.S. and yes, I came from the Core P3 and of course the Crystal 2 ATX video, uh, but since then I've watched every other video and it's really fun too, so thank you. And uh, um, there's more. P.S. P.S. Uh, please take, uh, well, please care about yourself too, sorry. Uh, try and stay sane within these times of lockdown. If everyone works together, we can do it. Uh, so what inspired me to start making YouTube videos? Um, initially, it was supposed to be a supplement for the blog. Uh, this was while I was studying engineering and really I just wanted to post like a video or two about like how to operate a lathe or a milling machine or a, you know, a, a pillar drill. That's what it was supposed to be from the very beginning. That was the inspiration. Um, but obviously it didn't happen uh, because I didn't have a suitable camera then. And by the time that I got like my favorite camera, which is what I'm using now, um, I finished school, so uh, yeah, it, <laughs> it came out well, uh, but um, you know, that's that's where the inspiration was basically. It was supposed to be, uh, it was supposed to supplement uh, the blog. Uh, do you think I slash everyone can start with YouTube? Uh, short answer is, yeah, like anybody can start YouTube. And in terms of hardware, you don't need that much at all. You just need a phone that can record video and audio. That's it. <laughs> like, maybe even throw in a tripod and uh, hardware wise, like, you know, that's it. You got your hardware sorted. You have no idea how many people, like, uh, when they want to start YouTube, get caught up in what I call equipment envy. That you need a, um, a nice, like, chunky camera and a, <laughs> a, a condenser mic to, like, you know, start YouTube and stuff like that. But, I'll, I'll tell you this, don't invest in like, you know, big money in any of these if you don't know if YouTube is going to be um, a thing for you. But then if you want to invest, um, like I guess for this, at least you can do is um, get yourself one of these. Um, this is a lapel mic or a lav mic. Uh, this one is powered, so you can use it for on, like on your phone. That way you can pr improve your uh, audio quality basically and a tripod that's kind of it so basically like 20 pounds for this maybe at most a tenner for a tripod so um yeah 30 pounds and uh, you actually got yourself a pretty decent uh setup to do youtube like i'm i'm serious and only if like you can start picking up traction and you know that this is like you know something for you then yeah by all means um, invest in a good quality camera good quality mic uh software wise if you can do like a single take for a video then you don't need video editing software at all uh, but if you want to add transitions and stuff like that then um you could either uh, buy one of those like um video software apps like filmora or kinemaster for your phone you can video edit on your, you can video edit I mean, on your phone, or if you want to do it on the laptop, um, there are a few free ones, you can buy some as well, but uh, I think you need like a dual core with four threads at the very least, uh, preferably, you know, a quad core or more, uh, because again, the more cores and like, you know, the, the higher spec your computer is, the better the experience will be. And the one thing that I'll say to you and to everybody who wants to get into video editing and think that like, wow, there's so many things, it's so complicated. The number one thing that you need that will basically be like 80% of video editing in general is to learn how to cut, trim, and move bits of a video. Because in the end, that's what it is. That's what makes up 80% of video editing. It's just cutting out dead air and making things nice and adding transitions and effects and all that stuff. That's the 20%. And, um, Again, like, don't worry about that, okay? Like, from the get-go. You can just pick those up as you go along. And another way of inspiration as well is to look at big YouTubers. Um, like, people that you, you know, look up to. And basically, go to their channel, go to their videos, and sort out their videos from oldest. And you can see their old content uh, compared to now. And I love looking at those because that's one hell of an inspiration. Like, for example, uh, Gamers Nexus, where there was just, back then, they were just smashing up, like, old 
pieces of junk computers and an Xbox as well. Right now, they're basically at the frontier of tech journalism. So just looking at that is so remarkably inspiring. So yeah, I'm not sure if I answered that the best I could, but um, hopefully you could learn from that basically. And so how old are you? You were driving a car and I always thought you'd be around the same age as I am. So I was really surprised. <laughs> uh, so um, yeah, I'm 20 years old. Uh, so yeah, that's my age. <laughs> uh, that's just funny. Okay, so Blackpink Phoenix said, For this q and I would ask, oh, Why aren't you gonna make a gaming video? I'm triggered. Uh, so, um... Yeah, I haven't made a gaming video in ages. Uh, partially because uh, one of my most polarizing and controversial videos is a gaming video. Uh, but that's because it needs a complete overhaul. But regardless, I actually uh, ended up buying two games that are just sitting on my windowsill over there that I really, really wanted to talk about for ages. So um, yeah, you know, I'll just <laughs> I'll get work into that. Uh, so yeah, thanks for reminding me, by the way. Uh, so Rob's PC City said or asked, uh, when could I do a face reveal if you want? Do it at two subs. In fact, let's have a look. Um, I'm just have a look. Uh, yeah, you got three subscribers. <laughs> oh, I just love this. <laughs> Come on, man. I sub for that reason. Oh. Look, if there's one thing that you really need to learn when you're on the internet, is just not take everything so seriously. Just, you know, we're all here to have fun in games. <laughs> we're all here to relax. We're all here to just poke fun at other people. Uh, you know, we just want to get away from our um, rather awful workplaces and stuff like that so yeah just <laughs> don't worry about it and personally as well i love love reading uh, the comments on the core p3s build especially ones where you know people comment on the um, components of the build itself because i didn't have much but i swear some of you guys are just <laughs> some of you guys just make my day um it's, it's amazing so mustafa kappa said i'm in the uk uh, just get out there and do your thing. You know this is just a psyop, and I didn't know that by the way, so it's a psychological operation. Uh, life is not a rehearsal, switch off the mainstream, media lies, and go for it and forget the neighbours. So the thing is though, I genuinely wish that it is a psyop, because uh, imagine if like these neighbours actually abuse the system and basically get a noise complaint under my name, uh, but regardless, I still don't want to risk it. And I agree that life is not a rehearsal, but what it means though is that if you slip up, if you mess up, uh, the consequences are real and they are there. So um, I just don't want to risk like ruining my chances of getting a mortgage or something or uh, you know, finding a space or whatever, like basically future prospects, uh, just because I have a noise complaint tied to my name. And finally, it's just kind of out of principle, really. Um, like, if it isn't for those rather awful people <laughs> right beside me, it's for that really nice lady at, like, a few houses uh, across the street. Especially when, again, it's... Um, I'm, I, I'm working in an open space where pretty much everybody can hear, and I'm doing this, like, more than a DIY kind of frequency. Uh, because, yeah, like... <laughs> At this rate, basically, um, I need my own space to um, produce PC cases and stuff like that whenever I want. And uh, yeah. And finally, uh, Chris P says, Everyone's sanity suffers during the lockdown. It's only normal to feel like this. I know I do. Uh, many people can relate to you right now. You want to do something, but you are unable to because of something you can't control. Uh, congratulations on 1k, you know your stuff, and your videos are very <laughs> relaxing, and once the whole thing settles down, you'll quickly double that number. Oh, well thank you. Yeah, so I hope you're okay though. To be fair, like, you know, with sanity and stuff like that, I swear. Uh, but luckily now that things are opening up, that, uh, you know, maybe you can grab yourself a pint finally. It's, again, it's been one hell of a ride, but in the end, no, it's all in the name of fun, really. That's what it is.
So I hope you've enjoyed this Q&A. Uh, I hope that it's turned out alright, I'm not sure. Uh, but regardless, uh, this is The Budding Engineer and um, as ever, thank you so much for your support. See you real soon.